Hey everyone, this is a quick little video on how to deep freeze food in the most efficient manner and low tech manner possible that I have found. This is by far the best way. I'm making this video because I've seen a lot of people do a lot more convoluted or higher tech ways that are just completely unnecessary. So yeah, this is it right here and that's it. That's literally it. It's a thermal regulator in a small pit of water with hydrogen gas in an insulated pipe going into your little deep freeze chamber. Uh, steel pipe is the best radiant pipe there, you know, for the insulated ga uh, gas. Uh, igneous is fine. Hydrogen gas will get you cold enough. Thermal regulator is very overlooked by a lot of people because it's just considered to be inferior to the aqua tuner, and it is. I have tried to use this for other things, and it's just not powerful enough. But for something like this, where it's a very, very small mass to cool, it is more than powerful enough. As you can see, every bit of food in here is deep freeze, sterile atmosphere, no problem. And we're holding the hydrogen at around negative 36, which is a nice 15 degrees over the threshold, or below the threshold, to be more accurate, to be uh, required for deep freezing food. This can just be any metal tile, cobalt, aluminum, but honestly, anything works. I've, I've done it with iron before when I was low on metal. And, uh, yeah, you use uh, sweepers to pull the food out and insert it into your food structures or your fridges. These need to be placed uh, diagonally to the tile. This needs to be diagonal to either the center or one of the edges in order to reach. So there's a bit of leeway here. This could have been one tile to the left. And uh, that's pretty much it. Just put a little bit of water in here. The very last thing about it is you're probably wondering, like, won't that water eventually heat up? Well, the answer is yes, but the amount of heat being transferred into it is so small uh, because the amount you're cooling is so small that it, you know, you'll, you'll finish the game. Like, this will overheat and boil, yes, in something like 10,000 cycles. As you can see, in this game, it's still 12 degrees, and just the environmental cooling from the oxygen being pumped into the base is more than enough to keep it cold. If you're pumping your O2 in your base cold enough, then it will literally never overheat. So yeah, that's it. Thermal regulator, hydrogen loop, that's it. Done. You can get this done really, really early. I often get it done uh, within the first 50 cycles. I frequently get it done around the same time I get my first spam up. It is an absolutely critical thing that you want to get up as soon as possible because it ex essentially extends your food supply a lot further and um, also lets you preserve foods that you would not want to consume early for later use, such as, say, getting spicy tofu early on but wanting to save it for Jorge. Now, that's it. Simple, easy deep freeze. Thermoregulator, hydrogen, that's it. You're done. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I stream uh, most days at Twitch TV SF Hobbit. Thanks for watching.